you can create artwork like this. In just a matter of a year or two, we have so many different AI tools that help people to get started with generating their own custom artwork or images. What used to be limited to just a few tools now has become a whole range of options for other AI image generators to choose from. There are dozens of AI image generator tools out in the market, and to be honest, pinpointing which are the best is not an easy task. And at the time of writing this, there might have been more that have come out. But in this video, we'll explore key 10 tools that can hopefully make your life a little bit easier when it comes to image generation. So let's jump into it. First on this list is Midjourney. This is one of the most popular image generators that you can find in the market. Through the use of prompts, you can create images in the style of specific artists and have the ability to generate almost anything you can think of as long as you describe it thoroughly. Pros to this is that image quality is awesome with the option to upscale quality. You can mimic different artistic styles. You can create zoomed out versions of images. You can create the zoomed in versions of images. You're also able to view different variations of outputs and have an amazing photorealistic or digital style of an image as well. The cons of this is a bit tricky to keep consistent characters across different renderings. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve in how to write the prompts precisely to get the output you desire, and it's only available through Discord. There's no other separate interface. Images also can be a bit redundant sometimes if you don't really tell it exactly what to do. Then the second tool here is DALI, another tool that I've used on top of Midjourney. Developed by those who brought you ChatGPT, DALI is another generative AI platform that uses prompts to create images. Named after the famous Pixar robot Wally in combination with the surrealist painter Salvador Dali, this is a great tool for anybody that really wants to get started. Pros to this is that it's free to use as users can generate 50 images within their first month. You have copyright ownership to the person who generated the image. And for developers, you can use Dali API and implement it into your own apps. It also rejects prompts using public figures or human faces, so it safeguards against ethical misuse. It's also really great for surrealist artwork, hence basing its name off of Salvador Dali. The cons of this is that although it's a bit awesome for surrealist artwork, it's a bit limited in diversity of the type of art it is good at. For example, photorealistic images are not really the best. I would actually personally recommend using Midjourney for this. It also requires users to be super detailed in their prompts, which might be a bit tricky for someone who is just scoping for ideas. And it's limited output in terms of the amount of objects that are contained in the prompt. It also has a higher proportion of male figured images than female when you're not specifying gender. The third tool here is Starry AI. This is an all-in-one image generator great for creating art on the go. You can easily get started with their free trial and can even take the app with you anywhere, whether it's iOS or Android. The pros to this is that it works on any platform from web to mobile. Its user interface gives the option to choose a specific style output from the get-go and is easy to use for people just getting familiar with image generators. It also offers three image generator models to choose from. Cons is that image styles are relatively limited, really sticking well to the three they offer. Their mobile app, from what I've tested, is a bit slow, and if you opt in for the paid version, it can be considered quite a bit pricey. The next tool is then Dream by Wombo. This is an AI image generator that you can use on the web or mobile, compatible for both iOS and Android. For people that are looking for more simplistic outputs, Dream is a tool that gets the job done with a relatively easy to use interface. Pros to this is that it works for any platform, like I said, from web to mobile, it's easy to use, there's no real sign up required to get started, and then pricing is relatively affordable compared to the others on the list. The only cons to this is that it's limited to mobile, at least as of this video, and the outputs aren't on par with some of the other apps on the list. Next is Night Cafe. This AI image generator tool is another easy to start one where people can just go to their site, jump in without signing up. What makes this tool stand out from others is its association with print-on-demand services, where people can create t-shirts or NFTs out of their work. Pros is that it offers print-on-demand services, it provides different style guides and templates, has a huge community showcase with interactability, and there's no real need for sign-up on free trial. Some cons is that some limitations in the prompts as you can't really include specific words. Outputs aren't the best with some other apps on the list, and it requires some craftiness with writing prompts. And then next is Firefly, made by Adobe. With so many AI image generators out there, Adobe actually had to step up their game with their new Firefly, which is currently in beta. It's a really a great tool for storyboarding or modifying existing designs. And the AI tool is expected to have video production capabilities later down the road. Pros is that obviously it's a familiar interface if you've used Adobe products before. A lot of style guides and templates, it's great for creating logos or text-based images, 
and it's really an awesome tool for designers who wanted to do recoloring or modifying existing images. The cons is that currently in, in beta as of writing this, its photorealism images aren't the best and it only supports English as of right now. Then next is Photor. This image AI generator is another great tool for people to get started. What makes this even more in unique is that it also serves as an image editing platform as well with several solutions in their photo editor. Well, you can crop images, remove backgrounds. The pros is that it's not just an image generator, but an overall image editing tool. Uh, you can unblur, remove background, turn things into sketches, and it offers a lot of style guides and gives you a lot of control when it comes to toggling the options. The cons is that all of the features might be a bit too overwhelming for some people, and it doesn't have the best image output compared to some of the other ones like Midjourney or Dolly. Then you have Deep Dream Generator. Developed by a Google developer, this AI image generator tool uses neural networks to generate images from simple prompts. It's not as popular as some of the ones that I've mentioned on the list, but a lot of people in the community do find it quite underrated. The pros is that it leverages multiple AI algorithms to generate images, the quality of their outputs are actually quite good, and it's fairly straightforward and easy to use. Cons is that it's not the prettiest interface because, well, it was built by an engineer more than anything, and the mobile app is a bit slow, although I haven't used a mobile version specifically. Also, if you opt in for the paid version, it can be a bit pricey. And then next on the list is Synthesis X. For those looking to just have an AI image generator at the tip of their browser, Synthesis X is a Google Chrome extension that can easily be installed from the Google extension shop. With the white label rise, there's a variety of tools offered from the tool to get started with generating images. Pros is as easy to install as a Chrome extension. They have smart filters that can help to enhance the image and it's free trial is to test tool. The biggest con here is that it's limited to Chrome, so if you aren't using that browser, you probably won't be able to use this. So why should we use AI image generators? There are plenty of benefits to using AI image generators these days, especially if you're an artist. For one, they can produce high quality art and realistic images at a far faster rate than illustrating, drawing, and trying to modify everything yourself, or even hiring somebody to do it. Despite there being a huge divide of artists not supporting AI image generators, there are actually quite a lot of people that do leverage these tools to gain new ideas and be inspired. These tools democratize creating art to more people and as almost anyone can now generate fantastic pieces of art with just the right prompts or a few clicks. You can generate a large number of images as well, as well as put variations to a series of collections that you choose. Creators can also make thumbnails, blog feature images, and so much more with just the help of AI image generators. So if you found any of these tools on the list useful, please make sure to like this video so the algorithm can push it out to more people, get them seen more, and subscribe to this channel if you want more news and information on AI tools, tips, and tricks into the future.